The following represents only a few of the many visionaries who are standing together with city elders to see this nation turn back to God. Now, some people will say, we just need to preach the gospel. That has to be the uh, priority for all of us. Well, I agree with that. Preaching the gospel is the absolute priority. But I'd say our second priority is to maintain the liberty to preach the gospel. I think it was Billy Sunday that says, it is absolutely sin to pray on Sunday, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and on Tuesday go vote for things that are completely against the kingdom of God. People are more worried about their money disappearing than their kids and this society going to hell. Confront a culture of lies with truth. Speak the truth. Because in times of universal deceit, truth is the only rebellion left. If this isn't a time of universal deceit, I don't know what is. Why in the world would you allow error to share the platform with truth? But until they hear from their pulpit why the Democrat Party is no longer just a party, and, and this tired argument that says you shouldn't try to legislate morality. Folks, men of God, women of God, listen to me. We're not trying to legislate morality. We are duty bound to stop them from legislating immorality. We've let non-Christians tell the church what its role in culture is supposed to be. Here we have again, for the first time in human history, an astronaut that has walked on the moon, that has come back almost home safely, and he wants to make sure that people understand that Jesus visited man. And he wanted the whole world to make sure that, that he believed that he could do nothing apart from Jesus Christ. What an amazing testimony. Friends, this is our heritage. We cannot do this absent a God because he's the author of liberty and liberty is what we're fighting for. And I think in Oklahoma, God can and will do something supernatural to bring about the spark and the flame that's going to set the United States on fire for the Lord again. The Declaration of Independence is nothing more than a listing of sermon topics that we've been hearing from the pulpit for the last 15 years. Try preaching the Declaration of Independence. Oh, there's, that's government stuff. We don't do that. No, no, no. The government stuff was a reflection of what they were being taught theologically at that time. The First Amendment was guaranteed the free exercise of religion. These were religious guys who wanted to make sure the government could never shut down religious activities, right. not the other way around. Right. And so we're told exactly opposite. But when you go back and look at the history and see what's back there, there's just no question America would not be the same nation had it not been for the church. You know, the adversary wants to propagate this concept of the separation of church and state. And they are two different functions. They are two different entities. But Jesus is not only Lord of the church, Jesus is Lord over government. To me, what that stands for is the fact that as the Lord lives in you, you take action on that. And that's what City Elders is about, and, uh, is being out there and uh, loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength loving our neighbor as ourselves, and getting involved. The condition of America and the world is only what we either allow or disallow as the body of Christ. Tulsa will be in a city in which the majority will not only be saved, but their transformed lives will transform the state and influence the whole nation. To him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. We must be about our father's business and we must make sure that America remains that shining city on a hill to the glory of God. Thank you, God bless you, God bless America, God bless Oklahoma, hallelujah. There is nothing more powerful than a God idea whose time has come. Join the movement, change the world, welcome to City Elders.